Once I rose above the noise and confusion Just to get a glimpse beyond this illusion I was soaring ever higher But I flew too high Welcome back to another episode of the Did You Know podcast. Today I want to talk about where to get reputable information about ataxia. Let's get talking. So you've been diagnosed with ataxia. Now what? You have no family history and you've never even heard of ataxia. So what do you do? Well, if you're like me, you go onto the web and you do a search about ataxia and then you stare blankly at the screen because there's so much information that's been returned. And the kicker is you don't even know if any of it is reputable. So I'd like to tell you about a source to get all of your information about ataxia. The National Ataxia Foundation's website is where you need to go, and you can get there by typing in ataxia.org. The National Ataxia Foundation, their sole mission is to help those that have been diagnosed with ataxia in their families. And they connect the um, ataxia families with the researchers and the clinicians and the community. And so this website is really a one-stop shop for all of your information regarding ataxia. If you're near a computer right now, you can log in to ataxia.org and follow along with me because what I would like to do right now is just orient you to what you're going to see on the web page. If you open up the website, what you will see is there is information that is categorized into different buckets. And these categories run from left to right on the top of the screen. And the categories are what is ataxia, research, support groups, about NAF, blog, and contact. And so I just want to give you a feel for what's in each of these little um, areas. So if you look at what is ataxia, there's a definition of ataxia. There's also um, an explanation about some different types of ataxia, what the symptoms are, what the treatment and diagnosis is. There's a whole section about genetics and all the genetic forms of ataxia and learning about what that really means. Um, there's a section on what is sporadic ataxia, ataxia as a symptom, and also included in this section is ataxia fact sheets that you can download for free. So that's really great information that you could uh, download and print off and have available to you to hand out when you go different places. The next section is the research section. And in this section, what you'll find is different updates on um, information regarding research. Did you know that NAF is the only foundation in the U.S. that is dedicated to finding a cure for all types of ataxia? They are the leader in the world for ataxia research, and they have contributed to some of the most substantial discoveries made about the disease. In this section, you will find information about research grants, clinical trials, um, how to participate in research. There's also a couple of studies going on. There's a natural history study that's going on that's described here. There's a tissue, do, a tissue donation program that's also described here. And there's also an ataxia patient registry. I would encourage you to click on that and learn about the registry and um, sign up for the registry as well. The next section is on support groups. And this section is really great, especially if you're looking to connect with a support group. What this section will let you do is key in a country. And if you live in the United States, it'll let you key in your state. And if there's a support group in your country or your state, the information for that support group will come up, including the support group leader names and telephone numbers. So this is a really great way to see if you have a support group nearby. And if there isn't a support group nearby, contact NAF and they will be able to put you in touch with the closest support group to you. The next section is about NAF. And in this section, you'll see an annual report, a financial statement. You'll see um, the different partners that are connected to NAF. 
you'll also be able to read up on different members because members have submitted stories and they've submitted a photograph along with their story so you can identify who they are and it's really exciting to read some of this information about members of the National Ataxia Foundation. And then the other thing that's contained in this section is information about how to get the new NAF app. So we have a NAF app and it's available on the App Store and the Android app is on Google Play. So there's a section in this area that describes all of the, about the NAF app and how to get it. Then there's a section on, it's, it's on the blog, and the blog is under construction right now, but it's coming soon, so check back for more information about that. And then also there's a contact uh, section, and in the contact section is all the contact information for NAF. There's also a um, form, a contact us form, that you can fill out and send NAF a message. So this website, as I said earlier, is really fantastic and it's the most reputable website that you can find for information about ataxia. That wraps up our conversation for today. As always, thank you for listening. My hope is that you learn something from this podcast and that you will share it with others. I'll talk to you guys soon. Once I rose above the noise and confusion Just to get a glimpse beyond this illusion I was soaring ever higher